Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Jason and this plant is Felicia amyloides variegata. This is the variegated blue marguerite daisy, uh, or the variegated blue marguerite this is referred to as. Uh, due to these flowers that are very blue looking, honestly I think they're more periwinkle colored with a yellow center. Uh, and there's a, a bunch of actually spent blooms in here too I need to remove. Uh, removing spent blooms actually does encourage more blooms and you'll just get flushes and flushes of flowers here in Northern California. Your flowers uh, will bloom from spring until the winter frost, until first frost. Uh, some call that spring through frost. Uh, in other words, it has a long bloom season and it has a long color season because, because it, it is an evergreen perennial and it has this really bright variegated foliage, uh, which is why this is also a great addition to the moon garden or moonlight garden, uh, because it has this really bright moonlight reflective color throughout the entire year. And it has these beautiful flowers. And like I said, the more you remove, the more you'll get. As far as the size goes, this plant grows from one to two feet tall to one to three feet wide. Uh, it is cold hardy down to 20, five degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm not sure if it can take a prolonged freeze. It might be able to do that. Uh, the, this plant's origin is South Africa. And um, as far as the water is concerned, it is uh, it has medium water needs. It is drought tolerant as well, especially once this plant is established and it's been in the ground for some time, it becomes very drought tolerant. Um, it still does appreciate more water. And honestly, I think with, with more sunlight and more blooms, uh, with more sunlight and more water, you'll get more blooms. Uh, if you live inland here in California, I would say to place this in sun, so five to six hours of sunlight a day. Uh, you can put this in part sun. That works as well. It's funny because uh, there's a relative, the Felicia Ethiopica, where actually I've noticed it does not want to be in part sun. It wants to be in just full sun. This variety of Felicia, I believe, actually does quite well in part sun. I wouldn't put it in less sunlight than part sun. Uh, and I feel like full sun might be too much sun. It might also be all right. I haven't tried growing this in full sun here in Northern California. I, I'm more inland, so the summers are very intense. If you do live on the coast here in California, I would say put this in full sun. That would be a, a perfect spot for this. And uh, like I said, it's a great addition to the Moonlight Garden. Uh, as far as uh, another type of garden this is great in is a pollinator garden. Uh, I think that this is a deer resistant plant because I really haven't seen them, you know, mess with this at all. They kind of leave it alone. Uh, the bees and butterflies seem to love this plant and it is a perennial so it's a nice plant that will give you flowers throughout the entire year. Uh, if you have any questions about Felicia amyloides, the variety variegata, the variegated blue marguerite daisy, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you like updates on my newest videos, please click that subscribe button. Once again, my name is Jason. I really hope you've enjoyed this video.